Patrick Smith from Vision Miner, and today we got an awesome project from Bowdoin Auto Haas. Bowdoin Auto Haas is a high performance aftermarket shop that works on nothing but the absolute best of the best high-end exotic cars. We're talking Koenigseggs, Paganis, Ferraris, and today we have a downpipe section from a Ferrari SF90. The SF90, if you don't know, is Ferrari's latest hybrid model putting out close to a thousand horsepower. And as if that wasn't enough, this customer wants to take that power and boost it even more. So they've reached out to Bowden to build them a custom straight pipe exhaust system, shooting fire and increasing power. And so that's what we're gonna work on and help them with today. Once they have this part reproduced, they can then build their custom exhaust system that's gonna bolt right to it, weld right to it, and then they can do the rest from there. So we're gonna focus on this, get it scanned. So I thought it'd be a great opportunity to show you guys how to use the HX and scan a reflective part like this downpipe section from an SF90. So moving right along, we're gonna bring my partner Rob in and he's gonna show you guys how to use the HX, scan this reflective item and get it into a nice file that you can work with. So let's bring in Rob right now. All right guys, so like Patrick said, we're gonna be scanning this downpipe here with the Einscan HX. Now, this scanner is a little bit more expensive, but it's super hard to put a price on your time, energy, and money because this thing can go significantly faster than a lot of the other models, especially when you're doing handheld scanning. So today, we're gonna use the blue lasers on the Einscan HX because it does a great job with reflective and dark colored parts without having to use any scanning sprays or anything like that and it's in handheld mode. So we're gonna use markers on the part because laser mode requires markers. And I can do that on the table, on a turntable. I can put them on little pyramids and toss those around like we sell on our website, or we can put them on the part itself. First thing I'm gonna do is open up my HX software. All right, and then I'm gonna go into laser scan and then create a new project group. Use SF9003, which I already created. And then we're gonna do high detail, 0.2 millimeter point distance. This does go up to 0 0.05 millimeter point distance or resolution, which is the distance of the points. Um, and it goes all the way to 3.0, which obviously is more than we need for this. So I'll hit apply and here we go. So I'm gonna select reflective mode and then I'm gonna come right over to my part and hit preview. I can see it's seeing the markers, which is good. And so I'm just gonna hit the button again and start scanning, gathering data. So some of you are probably watching this and you've used scanners before, and you may be amazed at how well this is picking up the reflective surfaces. Generally on most scanners, this is next to impossible without coating the part in something, spraying it, you know, whatever it is you may do. Uh, this is really awesome just to be able to put a couple of markers down or like set this part on a turntable and start scanning and actually pick up the surfaces. And I'm just gonna keep gathering points. So we wanna get as many points as we can just so we don't have holes and things like that. Okay, now we're good to go. I'm gonna go in here one more time, clean up any extra data points. Oh, let me hit my button. I'm gonna use the connected domain again, invert, delete selection, and then it looks like we're doing pretty good. And I'm gonna turn over the actual exhaust. All right, so now I got this side to work with. Right about there should be good. I can just hit my button, hit my button again, and we're scanning. Cool, all right, so now I'm gonna clean up this data real quick. All right, that should be good. Let's check out our results. I can get a little bit more. I want a little bit more data right there. So let's just focus on that and that alone. So what I'm seeing happen is, I'm missing a little bit of markers. It doesn't have quite enough markers in view to get perfect tracking on this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add one more marker, mid-scan. I'm gonna not look at the part, I'm gonna put this one right here. 
and then we're going to go back to the part. And there we go. Now, it's doing a much better job keeping tracking of that. And it looks like we're filling in that data a little bit better. I'm going to regenerate those point clouds. And then we're going to check our alignment one more time. And we're pretty much done at this point. This is going to give us a mesh or a point cloud, uh, which we can then take into Geomagic or something like Rhino, uh, another CAD program that handles millions and millions of points. I think SolidWorks only gets up to like 90 million points before it's completely capped off if you have a supercomputer running it. So it is important to have a software that you can use that handles giant meshes as opposed to just putting the scan straight into SolidWorks. That is a pretty important point, and that's why Geomagics is such a good deal. You're getting not only a huge discount on the actual price of it, but its feature sets and tools are insane. So there we go. We've got this. I can look at both my projects, and we've got everything lined up, looking good. I've got my cylinders in there. I've got faces. We're good to go. All right, so now I'm going to go mesh model. And I can do unwatertight or watertight. If I wanted to just print it out, I can do watertight. But we want to do unwatertight because we want to leave all these holes in there. I don't want to fill the marker holes either. Don't need to. And the rest, I'm going to use recommended parameters. So I'm going to just hit apply. And then we're going to take this straight into Geomagic Essentials from this software. And now Geomagic Essentials comes with the red bundle on either the Pro HD or the HX. You can also buy it separately through our store at visionminer.com. Now, if you're familiar with Geomagic Design X, Geomagic Wrap, or Geomagic for SolidWorks, these are all more extended versions of the software that have a lot more tools and features. But the Geomagic Essentials basically boils down to be able to do reverse engineering so you can create native shapes for your CAD programs and you can uh, manipulate large meshes uh, to really clean stuff up and smooth stuff out and make it look perfect. You can do um, heat maps of different things and a whole bunch of features that I haven't even figured out yet. We'll be doing a lot more videos on that soon, so leave in the comments down below what you want to know about that software, and we'll be doing a lot of specific videos for reverse engineering. Okay, so here we've got the unwater type model. Awesome. Now, we didn't fill anything in, so anywhere where there's a little too much of a gap, it just left it, but it looks like we got what we need. I've got these inner flanges, and I've got this angles for everything. And so we'll just hit confirm. And then we're going to go here and open up Geomagic Essential. Bada bing, bada boom. Now the first thing that pops up with Geomagic is, do you want to use Mesh Doctor? Normally that's a great idea, but today we really don't need to because uh, we're doing this for RE, not for straight into 3D printing. I'm going to click this and go drag up again, and that See that, how it just selects that face? Cool, good to go. And I can make, I can hit OK on my cylinder and I can go plain. Whoops. All right, so I'm gonna click here, drag up slowly, and it's gonna select just that face. Look at that. Oh gosh. Yeah, that's great. All right, so I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna go plain, best fit and apply. So now I got a plane that matches that plane. All right, now I have a lot of options in here. You know, we can go perpendicular through point symmetry, uh, three points, you know, I can make a plane based on three points. If I wanted to do a cylinder or a torus or a cone or a sphere, it has the best fit. All right, guys, there's a ton more features in that, but let me know what you want to see down in the comments below. I got a couple dedicated reverse engineering CAD guys on standby. We're going to figure out the things that you want to see and do them and show you how it works in all these softwares. Now, it's an amazing thing. You're going to spend a little bit more for a machine like this, but I tell you, it's worth every penny in the amount of time and frustration that you'll save, just how good the tracking is, the lasers picking up dark and reflective objects, Objects, it really makes a huge, huge difference. Anyway, let us know what you want to see in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to buy one, head over to visionminer.com. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. Have a positive rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next video.